Hello everyone, today we're back into another Lumion Legacy tier list. And today we're going to be ranking all the Earth types in all of Lumion Legacy. And yes, I mean all of them. Because there are only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 in total, including the pre-evolution. So yeah, these are basically all of the Earth types in the entire game. And there hasn't been a new Earth type added in over a year. So... Lumion Legacy, in your next update, please add more Earth types. We need more of them. Anyway, this top, this, this tier list is going to be ranked from the best, great, good, okay, and also the worst Earth type. So, let's get right into this. Let's start off with Himber. And Himber is interesting. It has a lot of defense, hits very hard with Awakening, and can also place Icicle Trap. So it's actually a very solid Earth type because it had because it's Ice Earth. Ice Earth offensively can hit so many typings in the meta. Only problem is, is since it is a melee attacker, and that's kind of one of the biggest problems, all of these Earth types are melee attackers, meaning any melee tank like a Sidragon or a freaking Tundralin they kind of wreck y'all. I think every Earth type gets wrecked by the current meta right now. But, you know, at least with Himber, it can place Icicle Traps and also has priority. So actually, that would put it in the great. I think it's barely in the great tier, though. Because a couple of reasons are it has a lot of weaknesses defensively. It struggles a little bit defensively. But I guess it's high defenses, especially on the melee side and high health. Do counteract that. And also, melee tanks do make it tough to use. Although, if used correctly, Kimber can do a ton of damage really fast. Now let's get to the next one. Babor. Like, you know, I don't know, you know what? Spoiler alert. Worst Earth type. It always gets a minus boost. It will always get a minus boost. There is no reason to use Babor. It will always get a minus boost. And even if it gets the drop of youth, there's no reason to do it because its health and defense is too low in order to be fully utilized. So it would just be better on Borok anyway. And plus, you'll just get a minus boost every single time you use this thing. Babor stinks. It might be the worst might be the worst PvP Lumion in the game if we're not counting if we're counting all pre-evolutions. Although it makes sense. It is a pre-evolution to probably one of the most intense Earth types in the game. Borok. And Borok is a very interesting Lumion for me. It's a very scary Lumion with high potential and is probably one of the hardest hitting wall breakers in the game. But again, since it is a melee attacker, it does struggle with the melee tanks. Kind of like all of these guys on the list. But at least with Borok, it does get a plus one boost, so it does hit a little bit harder. The biggest problem is, is that nowadays there are a lot of melee attackers that actually have a higher melee attack stat. Like, there's a lot of wrestlings being used. There's also, I think Vesperatu can also get above it. Your Soul can also get above it. Carolyn, Cosmior. There are a bunch of melee attackers that can actually get above Borox melee attack, even when using Very Brawny, which gives it a minus one boast. And when you get minus one boast, your Borok is useless. I was going to put it into the low great tier, but with that risk of getting minus boast, puts it in the good. It is still a very good earth type, and it still hits very hard. But right now, there's a lot of Lumians in the game that will give you minus boast. And there are going to be a lot more in the future that will do that. So Borok isn't really going to rise from here, which is unfortunate. Rockwalla, it's only an okay. I mean, it can be used with Drop of Youth, all right. It could be used with it. But again, there's kind of no reason to use Rockwalla when you could actually use Cinemars. Cinemars is just a whole lot. The only reason I would use Rockwalla over Cinemars is mainly for fashion's sake. Rockwalla does look cute and a lot better design compared to Cinemars. Which, that is basically the one flaw of Cinemars, honestly. Which, speaking of Cinemars, let's talk about its ugly design. It's going in the ugly tier. I'm going to make its own tier just saying ugly. But honestly, its model is charmingly ugly. It's like, it's so ugly, it's actually kind of beautiful. 
it's weird how I can kind of explain Stenomars. I kind of have a soft spot with this design, even though I think it's really hideous. But we're not talking about, but for this careless, we're not talking about its design. We're talking about how it is in PvP. It's going in the great tier. It's a really good range tank, an even better melee tank. Like, something I do not really know. Why do people make Cenomars a ranged tank when its melee attack is higher? I guess its melee defense is higher. I guess it's because a lot of the Metal Lumians do struggle, plus there aren't many range defenders in the game currently, so they make Cenomars as their ranged tank, and it makes... You also, this, you also see the same thing with Tyrex. Tyrex has kind of the same thing. Just make it tanky on both sides. It does work, though. Cenomars is really good both it's has very good bulk on both sides. It has rejuvenate the heal health back. And since Earth offense, Earth can hit a lot of different types of Lumians. Even though it doesn't necessarily hit that hard, it does actually have setup compared to Himber and Borok. And even though Borok... Oh no, actually, now I was thinking about it. Borok does get bulk up now. But even then, Borok kind of struggles with it because it's not bulky enough when with... Cenomar, Cenomar can actually heal, so it is a lot better with Sharpen. Plus, you could also talent trade the lazy ability and completely mess up some fast Lumians, or specialty boots Lumians. That talent trade with lazy is also a very nice combo. You could also run hasty to do extra damage and hit harder, but the chance of missing. So, there's a couple options on how to run Cenomars, which makes it really good. It even has a couple coverage moves like Chomp, I think it even has Blaze Chomp and Thunder Chomp. So you could use Blaze Chomp to hit those pesky dark types. You can use Thunder Chomp to hit Stratosaur and Samarine. There's a couple different ways you can actually run Centimars, which actually is the reason why it is in the great tier. Now, Baroach. Again, it's a pre-evolution. It's going only in the okay tier. Like, it is probably the most usable of the pre-evolutions besides Concreton, but still, I don't think it is actually that good using. If you want to use... If you want to use Baroque, use Bar use Garbantis. That's the thing. And Garbantis is in the good tier. It is a fast Lumion. That is one thing that it does have. It's fast and it hits very hard. That's all that it really has, though. It does have all right melee bulk, but it sucks on the range side. Any range hit pretty much kills it. And even, it's, even though it has high melee defense, it has a very ho low health stat. Meaning that it kind of takes a lot of damage from melee attacks as well. So, it's really tough to use. And plus, it being quad weak to icicle traps don't make it very nice either. While the other earth types are only, like, only weak to icicle traps, being quad weak to them just make it even worse. And heck, even some of the other types are neutral or completely immune from it. Timber is completely immune to Icicle Traps because it's an Ice type as well. Tyrex is, res Tyrex is neutral to it because it's a Metal type. There's just other Earth types that can actually come in on Traps right now, which is kind of just shows how good some of these Earth types actually are. So now let's get to the rest of them. Let's get to Opiraptor. It's only an okay. There's kind of no reason to really use it. Concrete on the other hand is actually solid. I could see people running this set with Clay Slap. I could see people running Concrete on. It can actually be bulkier than Tyrex, and it can actually be used all rightly. Problem is, if you have Drop of Youth, though, on Concrete on, you will not be able to get health back when compared to Tyrex, you can run Health Amulet. And that's the reason why it's only barely in the good. It's definitely in the lowest tier of the good, but it's definitely ranked the highest compared to the other pre evolutions. And even then, it's still a very good pre-evolved Lumion that can be used pretty well. Although, let's talk about Tyrex. It's great. Its typing is awesome. It's amazing. It just is so good. It's a metal type that is immune to electric because it has that earth. Being metal earth is so good defensively, and even though it has a ton of weaknesses, it has so many resistances and such good defense that it counteracts that. And also, all the and a lot of the weaknesses can be nullified by the rest of your team. And also, melee attackers can't really do too much to you because you have terrifying. You can lower their melee attack, which is awesome. 
also, you can run staunch, so people can't swap out on you, so you don't get flash. Actually, a no, flash and fleet can still hit you, but you can't get by baffle, and you can't hit by ancient roar, which is a good trap for zoologs. And also, you could run power draw. It doesn't really have any any elemental chomps at the moment, so it's not really as useful right now. But it also has solid range defense, and even though it has no way to heal back its health. It can actually you be very well with the health amulet. You can use Sharpen, Steel Crusher, and Earthquake, and Tyrex just completely wrecks. It's definitely one of the meta Lumians at the moment, and it can actually beat Tundralin and Venalin teams pretty solidly. So, yeah, Tyrex being up there in the great tier is perfectly represented. So, who is the best Earth type in the game? We already got the worst. It's obviously Bad Boar because it always gets a minus boost. But the best Earth type in the game. And this one's actually pretty close. Because out of these three Earth types, there are two of them which have a very good chance. It's not Himber. As good as Himber is, I think Tyrex and Cinemars do a little bit better. And if I were to pick one out of these two, I would probably have to pick Tyrex. Cinemars could also be up there. That is a great earth type lumian that could be in the best but i think tyrex is just a little bit more better and plus having metal coverage it's just a lot better you can hit you can hit tundralin that's basically another thing you can hit tundralin all right and upsidragon which are two massive melee threats and even though you can't necessarily hit them that hard just hitting them super effectively is a massive plus and also the fact that Tyrex can lower other melee attacks is a little bit faster and has, I think, a little bit better bulk than Cinemars. Makes Tyrex the best Earth type in all of Lumion Legacy. I hope you guys enjoyed this tier list. All y'all tier lists are going to be definitely different because everyone's opinions and everyone's reactions to certain Lumions are always different. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tier list and I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!